basically we went back and tried finding um, every bit and piece and part that we could down to um, talking with people who had access to the original Back to the Future 3 car. Uh, they were able to, uh, we were able to cast these parts and make copies of these. These are originally wood for the movie. Ours is a high impact, high impact um, two part resin backfilled with a 10 PSI foam, ultra light, super durable. Um, these plugs that are found around the car are extinct now. They were actually used for lighting um, and power at a, uh, uh, on film productions. That's what actually Doc's trying to plug together is on these parts. Uh, these purple grommets, you probably have never seen purple ones before. Those are black normally. Those are very hard to come by. Those are aerospace. But as you look around the car, you can see even some of our air hose. Those are off of uh, aircraft parts. Mm -hmm. All of the indicator lights that we've got, every single one's labeled. There, um, the Dayton drum switch, the, the time circuit keypad is actually an original alarm system keypad from like the 70s. It's a Dayton drum switch. What that is, it's a um, high current mechanical switch that would allow you to turn things on and off. I see. Um, but this piece here, this handle, in real life, is a three-way battery brush. <laughs> True story. Wow. That flux capacitor is a custom, uh, custom build. It's actually built out of a uh, Stalin, S-T-A-H-L-I-N, Stalin uh, enclosure, mm. um, spark plug wires, and then uh, Geissler tubes and uh, a few other tor uh, relays in there. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is just custom stuff added together. Um, these are these heat sinks are just things added into them, uh, into the transistors, uh, bailout bottle, uh, custom-made air flex hoses that are around. Um, those are all custom built. And then the, all this on the dashboard, that's a bunch of heat sinks too, right? Yep. Um, the red things are Rowan contactors. They're basically giant relays. And then this, uh, this alarm clock you had to track down too, right? Yeah, it's a Belova double bell alarm clock. Um, there's a few models that they made. Um, they're, they're, those are some of the ultra rare parts and pieces. Someone actually took the bell off of it and stole it. It's why there's not a double bell on that one, which is disappointing, which means I'll have to make one. <laughs> was that was that the same model as the one they, they used in the movie? Uh, yes, it's a different face though. Um, they're, they're antiques and they're antique alarm clocks. So they're, they're very, very hard to come by. They're not something you find on eBay. It's a uh, clock collectors and clock stores will will have those kinds of things but they're just that's from before the wall fell in berlin i mean they're just they just don't exist so um and then what about all this so these were custom fabbed um from the people who made them for the movie um this silver thing is a janitrol heater actually would burn gas in a uh, burn fuel in the cockpit of an airplane to heat it so that's what that is um these are carburetor heater hoses uh, these are oil air separators from Aero. Um, this is a heat sink out of a 1970s Xerox copier. Um, these are unknown parts. These are actually replicated to look like they are in the movie. Uh, these red capacitors you see here are actually the same capacitors on the other side that are in blue. They're Mallory capacitors. Their tops were cut off. They were painted red because that's what they did in the movie. Um, back here you can see that this is a... Um, air turbine, a jet turbine, mm -hmm. um, with a custom built part that comes in. That's all custom. Can you put plutonium in yeah, there? Yeah, I have a plutonium pellet it's hidden somewhere up there. <laughs> um, they leak because it's um, two pieces of acrylic yeah. that didn't glue together very well. Um, and then of course this base for the, do you know what that is? It was a Volvo hubcap, right? Nope. Close though. Oh, it was a, was it like a it was like a, a Plymouth Reliant. Dodge Polara. Okay. 1970s Dodge Polara hubcap. Bunch of heat sinks, more military stuff. Um, this is off of a military radio. Yeah. And uh, I, assume, I assume the license plate is, is not an actual license plate. It is not a real license plate, but it is the license plate from the movie. It is right. the same down to the... The tag and the, the license plate, everything. So you gotta swap it out when you're driving it around. And I, well, no, actually, um, we keep the plate on us. Yeah. It's illegal to drive a fictitious with fictitious plates, so technically that is illegal. But we have real plates, so it's actually a plated vehicle. Um, around here, you see the um, air mufflers, 
And these are the Mallory capacitors that are the same ones, the red ones that are on the other side. Yeah. Uh, and then wh where did these pass capacitors, what did they go into before they put them on? They're just industrial capacitors. They can go into just any electrical, Batteries yeah, pretty much, yeah. just big, big things. These are 37,000 microfarads, so they'll blow your hand off if you touch the two, pa two if they're charged. Yeah, I assume those are charged. Yep, <laughs> this is a gyroscope mount out of an aircraft. Uh, military aircraft. This does not exist. It's impossible to get, so these are custom fabbed. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a heat sink, medical heat sink, out of a um, navy, naval oscilloscope. Um, but that's, I mean, you've got different radiation gauges throughout, um, more ice cube relays, things like that. There's stuff hidden behind the seats that you never see in the movie. So pretty much, pretty much everything that went on the back you cast from from the original part? No, some of it are original parts. Okay. Um, I mean, these are all real. The uh, the missile hard drive you cast. I have an original. Yeah. But yes, but that's not on this car. That's the Mr. Fusion. Um, here's a neat little thing. What is what is that? The wormhole emitter, unknown part. Okay. But this right here is a Pioneer TS one zero one one speaker grill off of a car speaker. <laughs> it says so. It says Pioneer TS one zero one one. That's what it is. It's what, exactly what it is in the movie. And then, did, did you do all this lighting yourself? Yeah, it's a product called LED Neon. Uh, can, okay. It's really just LEDs that look like neon, and they yeah. can be found on eBay. You can buy 100-foot rolls of it for like three, $400. Do you know what they used for the uh, original one? It was neon. It was actual neon, um, which is really hard to drive with. Yeah. Um, in the movie, it actually appears blue, but in real life, they were white because the filter they used it ended up giving it a blue hue. So we do the blue. Um, it's, we can't have it on while it's driving because that's illegal, um, but sometimes we do. <laughs> um, it's actually kind of funny to pull up to a stoplight and flip them on uh, at night, and then they see the person next to you buckle up. <laughs> this, is, this is a Futaba remote. Um, the only difference between this one is that it's got the red lettering, not the green lettering, which the movie has green. Um, so I'm not finished with this one yet, um, but this is the same remote that they use in the movie. And this is where the, it would give the display. Now, this display here is actually the same as the display that's for the speedometer on top of the car. It's, it uses the same LED pattern. The, uh, some of the actors from Back to the Future were coming in to uh, appear at uh, one of the comic book conventions in Atlanta, uh, namely Dragon Con, a few years ago. So I had the car, I think it was 2012. No, to, 11 or 10. Then it would have been 11, because um, I had the car in 11. So brought the hood in to the convention center, and uh, they, they were gracious enough to sign it. Um, and you know, meet with us for a minute or two while they were signing it, which was pretty cool. So we had Christopher Lloyd, who played Doc, uh, Leah Thompson, who played uh, Lorraine, the mom, and James Tolkien, who was the principal Strickland.